course, we're coming off a very big week here in Rock Hill. We host the UCI BMX Racing World Championships. So that falls underneath the t- umbrella of cycling. As we had learned on mm-hmm. Friday, that there's many disciplines within cycling, BMX being one of them. Um, Chad Andrews is joining us. And if you followed social media at all last week during the World Championship, especially the Rock Hill and the UCI uh, channels, you probably saw Chad. He was kind of like the roving reporter out there for the last week. the voice week. of. <laughs> That's even better. The voice of the World Championships. That's right. So, Chad, just first of all, uh, kudos to you for coming in still this morning to still talk about cycling after, after a very busy week. But, boy, what a fun time we had the last couple of days here in the city. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me, guys. It was um, It was pretty amazing. I mean, I was blessed. The city of Rock Hill – crushed it. I mean, uh, even the mayor said from 2017 to 2024, the growth and development of what they, the energy they put into it. And I was just a small part. I was, you know, my job was easy, you know, talking to the people after the event. I mean, there are people that put in 80, 90 hour weeks just to make it happen. And I, I was quite impressed with what the city did and what the UCI did. And again, I, the voice might be a little stretch, but, uh, um, <laughs> no. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> We have learned on this show, if you're not going to toot your own horn, we'll toot That's it for right. you. That's right. Toot away. About that. So you <laughs> moved to South Carolina because of the cycling adventures and the disciplines that we're now offering here in the city. So this is now your home base. Yeah. I mean, I moved from Charlotte. I lived in Charlotte since 89. And then I moved down here because I felt it was um, a good move for me personally and professionally. Um, and then I got kind of into the the neighborhoods and the and the families and and I was like you know what this is kind of home to me now and it's it's fun because it is a huge cycling community with Rock Hill Bicycle Club and and all the you know disciplines of cycling we have here so yeah I mean I I do feel like even though I've only been here for eight months and I mean come on Charlotte it sometimes it feels like light years away and sometimes mm-hmm. it feels right across the river but uh, yeah I feel like it's a it's a home now so you call yourself a consultant a coach a commentator. And a cyclist. I know. I like it. The four C's. I (laughs) like it. So what kind of cyclist are you? Am I even using the correct terminology? If I'm not, that's okay. You can correct me. No, actually, you nailed it. Okay. And what drew you to the sport? Um, Well, can I start with the second one first? Of course. What drew me to the sport is I was a runner and a soccer player. And then I would see cyclists ride by, you know, and this is a vain moment for me, but they're shaved legs and they're fit bodies. And this is like 1989 or 90 or whatever. And I I just got tired of running. And I was like, how cool is that to see people? And first, and I guess most importantly, they get to see way more. I mean, like Mm -hmm. if you leave here and head out towards, you know, some of the great cycling venues that are all, you know, surrounding York and it, it was just something about it just drew me. And then I got into it and then I fell into commentating and, Coaching and my ability to be able to relate with people kind of became a thing for me because that's what I majored in. It was kind of broadca- broadcasting and um, inter- interpersonal relationships. So, I mean, I got very lucky. Ideally, my career was going to be in meteorology on air. Oh. Fell apart. So, <laughs> physics killed me, and I, I was blessed. You know, and, and all dip, as far as the type of cyclist I am, um, yeah. If it has two wheels, I'll, I'll pretty in. much ride it. Yeah, yeah. Like it. We're speaking with Chad Andrews. He's a consultant, a coach, a commentator, anything, again, with two wheels that you can ride. Chad says, I'm right there and ready to go. So we just got through with hosting the UCI BMX Racing World Championships. But I understand we've got another race approaching a different discipline within cycling. So walk us through this next discipline. Yeah, I feel like we're doing a bike racing fatigue here in Rock Hill. But you know what? Might as well capitalize on the moment. You know, falling off of the... The BMX World Championships was a huge get for the city. So then we transitioned to another race that the Rock Hill Bicycle Club is putting on. It it's a it's a series that travels throughout the country, and it's called USA Crits. And um, this is all the top Criterium racers in the world. And these are people. It is a completely different discipline than BMX. It's on bigger wheels. Think of it like your ten speed. People think, oh, ten speeds. But these are $10,000 10 speeds that they're going to be racing on a one mile course. And I liken it to um, NASCAR racing. It's very similar. And and I know that people that are bicycle, you know, bike racers, they're like, ha, Chad goes again. But I mean, it is the perfect kind of you're trading paint. You're bumping each other. There's a there's a lot of crashing. 
I'm going to say that softly, a lot of crashing and there's a, the music is loud. So think of it like a, a shaved legged, loud, fun music with families and friends on a one mile course that you can literally walk and see the turns, the corners, the energy. Um, it's different than the, than the BMX track, but it's all enclosed right behind the BMX track. There's a one mile course right there. It's called a Criterium. And uh, it's probably the most popular style of bike racing in the US that's on a bike that's a 10 speed. You have road racing, but it's very hard for the fans to get engaged with it because here they come, there they go. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Criterium Racing, it's on a one mile course or shorter. So it gives you an opportunity to you know have food, have coffee, mm -hmm. have an adult beverage if you're interested and just have fun. I've seen that course before. Is it flat or hilly or all the above? If you ask every crit racer, we call it criterium is we shorten it down to crit. If you ask every one of them, it's brutal. But they're used to four corner flat. Like you are, uh, you just, it's just insanely fast. This one's going to add another layer. And that's kind of why when Rock Hill Bicycle Club and I started this whole endeavor, it's like, USA Crits has all these four corner criteriums, except for a few of them that present a little challenge. This one is challenging to them. So mm. it is gonna be a different style. It's gonna be a different approach. Um, and it's not flat. It's not flat at all. It's got a little, what we call bump in it. So do they just go out and do the one mile and then it's over? Or is oh, it wonderful. like different heats or motos? We learned that word, ah, like what, what is it? What does the day look like? Like, do you have to keep qualifying? I guess is no. What I'm that asking. is a wonderful question. So we have different age groups. So you have juniors, you have young kids, then you have masters racers. You have inside of that group, you have categories. Category five is a beginner bike racer, not a beginner cyclist. So some cyclists go, you know what? I want to try this. So they become a cat five, and the way you go from cat five to cat one and pro is that you have to enter in and get a top result to accumulate points to move up to the next category. And it's all based on time. So the the um, the less advanced cyclists, they do 30 minutes plus once the officials calculate the laps, then they go, I mean time, then they calculate and go to laps. So that then the racers know. Whereas the pros, we know how fast they're gonna go. So it could be 75 minutes for the men and women. I think we, same prize purse for women, same prize purse for men, same distance, same time. So it's, it's uh, for the more advanced you go, the longer you go, and the harder the racing becomes. So in a criterium racing, you're going for time versus laps? Yep, it goes time first, and once the officials calculate how, how fast mm -hmm. they're going on the average, because if we did laps for the average beginner racer, it could take an eternity. So that's why we give them a time. And then with about 10 minutes left or 15 minutes left, the officials go up. Oh, they're going this X fast each lap round. So then we convert to laps and then the racers will see the lap board up on the up above. So we'll have Criterium Racing here. Is there a, a, a racing event happening much like the world championships that we had? Yeah, the, the USA the, Crits race yeah, okay, is in yes. Winston-Salem. Okay. The finals are there, and then what we're doing in Rock Hill mm -hmm. on Sunday is the bonus race. So we're adding a little different flavor to it. Mm -hmm. um, Bob Reppert and, of course, the club are like, you know what? It's the same format, but we're adding a little, and I don't want to go into the, 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 it's the same format. But it has a little twist to it that we think is going to be really unique and really fun for the fans to watch. Um, instead of racing for 75 minutes, we're going to break it down into three segments that the, just the pros are going to race. So you get eliminated, but then you get to get back in after 20 minutes and then you get eliminated ah. again and you get to get back in after 20 minutes. And then if you get, if you're just completely knackered and you can't race anymore, then you know what? And it's a points based after every 20 to 25 minutes. And so they'll race in North Carolina at the yeah, beginning of the weekend. Salem. Okay. And then they'll come and then here. they'll come down and on then this the Sunday, this on coming Sunday, Sunday. Okay. and the, the racing this year for the pro women and pro men throughout the course of the USA Crit Series has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And the f even though the finals are in Winston-Salem, all those men and women are going to be coming down for this bonus race, which the cool factor is that the USA Crit's overall champion is going to be determined. And then now anybody who was toast and done and never had an opportunity to win the series, now they get to come down to this bonus race and go, hmm, there's a lot of money here. I'm out of that one. So now let's race this one yeah. and see. Smart. It's all like, and that's kind of what we yeah. did. I mean, it was kind of like, yeah, we're going to give everybody an opportunity to to get some cash and win and have prestigious uh, W on their 
what we call the Palmieri's. I know resume. we're pushing up a break, but will any will any of these people be in the Olympics? Does this go? Is this a discipline that you'll see in the Olympics? We, we would love for Criterium, the most exciting bike racing, and some of the most <laughs> bikes exciting bike, bike racing. But right now, I think they're focused on more on BMX and okay. road racing. Okay. okay. Chad Andrews, that's his name. You'll see him out and about over there at the BMX track, the Criterium track, the Velodrome. Again, just riding his bike around town, and we're happy to have him here in the city of Rock Hill and call him one of our own now.